Hello everyone and welcome to Economics Media. So nowadays, uh, in this lockdown, whenever we open our news channels or phones, we are always filled up with the news related to coronavirus. And the news are not very much happy, are they? I don't think so. Because the news are either like how much the stock market has fallen down, how much the interest rate is being fallen down, how much the government is taking uh, the expenditure in order to meet the necessities of the country not just of the talking about our Indian country Indian economy but rather the whole world so everybody in this planet is right now facing a great deal of crisis challenges so coronavirus has been a tremendous big shock to the economy all over the planet. Now, when we talk about this COVID, one thing is very much striking into our mind. What is it? It is nothing but the lockdown. Because it is not just constrained in our Indian economy, but this lockdown has been extended over all of the countries around the world. So, COVID-19. So right now I'm just I have just given you the uh, summary of all the news that has been flowing around and the news related to the crisis side or the catastrophic economic aspect it has always shown. Let's discuss for a change the positive side of coronavirus. Yes, the positive side. So during this COVID-19 in the news also we have followed that there has been an increase uh, the betterment in the air quality around the world not just in India so the air has become cleaner like it has never been in the past two to three decades then again so let's just write down the positive aspect first is air quality it has increased to a greater extent next if we talk about the water quality so this has also uh, increased in quality the quality of the water has also become very much cleaner as compared to the past time next if we talk about the due to these two reasons mainly this uh, in cleaner air quality and cleaner water quality because of these two reasons we are finding that the animals and uh, many other creatures that does not generally come out of their habitat they are roaming around the world isn't it they are on the roads they are in the they are everywhere so because of this we can say roaming of animals have increased that means for the animals they are finding it safe to move around because there are no transports there are no human beings moving around so for them it's a safe planet now right so because why this air quality has increased uh, the better in the air quality has been so much and the quality of water has also been uh, this good so this all is uh, due to reduction in few of the gases namely we can say the nitrous oxide carbon monoxide carbon dioxide pm 2.5 etc so these mainly are the gases or the emissions that generally takes place when in the economy the cars are moving or we can say the transportation is going on or production is going on consumption is going on so that means till now from our discussion we can say that this environment and uh, let's say these are the aspects why these things are happening so this is the reason for this right reduction in them reduction in them is causing air quality water quality to increase right so this is we can say that it is environment and this 
we can say economy right so this economy that means this production or this excretion of this harmful gases are lowered and because of this the other aspects of the environment has increased therefore we can say that there is a negative relation between this economy and environment so the here our today's topic lies that is ecosystem versus economy so let me just write it the relation between the economy and uh, environment or ecosystem so economy is equal to the inverse of environment isn't it because if the economy is going down then only the environment is increasing that means we can say if the economy is sad the environment is happy or vice versa now the question arises that here lies the main trade off that any economy in the world faces this is the trade off how it is a trade off let's talk about that see economy once we talk about the economy the only thing that strikes into our mind is growth development quality of human life uh, food availability education literacy rate yeah that comes under that income inflation unemployment so these macro terms just comes into our mind at a glance when we talk about economy every country in this planet wants to be at the supreme position of the developed or developing uh, developed country right so like if a country is developing it wants to be the developed country if a country is already developed it wants to be the super developed country or so on so because of this uh, invisible competition among the countries this economy and environment faces a great deal of trade off because in order to be a developed country or the most developed country you need to produce so much so that your gdp is the highest or compared to the other countries it is the maximum gdp that anyone can get if you have that highest amount of gdp then you are the developed country as simple as that now how a gdp will increase so we are saying that to become a developed country to become a developed country we need to increase production that means we need to increase the gdp of a country and how the gdp will go up it will go up if the production increases or the other macroeconomic aspects like even the consumption gets counted here consumption increases or net exports if we talk about that this has to be increased plus the inflation rate has to be lower and many other aspects so talking about this production consumption net exports investment is also there investment we can say that the capital formation right so gdp will increase if we have these things that means the production will increase the consumption will increase net exports and other macroeconomic aspect but here is an interesting fact and this will relate how the economy is inverse related to the eco environment or ecosystem if the production increases that means the factories will be producing more the transportation will be more higher because of this uh, export thing so you need to export it or you need to import 
therefore there has to be a transportation communication so this all thing will again lead to increase in the amount of gases that i have mentioned that is no2 co co2 uh, pm 2.5 and many other harmful gases so once this there is an increase in these gases it will lead to bad condition or damage to environment right so look at this we need to improve our economic condition for that we need to increase the gdp if we increase the gdp through these means then we are end up increasing these harmful gases and once these harmful gases are increased environment is no more happy again the environment is facing a lot of uh, difficult situations not just for the human beings because their lives are also getting at risk but also for the other animals and other parts of this ecosystem so this is the point that we need to focus on that there is a trade off there is a high opportunity cost between economy and environment and this trade off this opportunity cost is faced by each and every single economy in this world so what to do what's the way out of this the way out that is being applied and has been uh, done and approached by many other countries that is the sustainable development therefore because of this high amount of trade off between uh, environment and economy economists have come up with sustainable development what does this sustainable development actually means this means that there will be development in the country that will increase the economic uh, side of the country but this growth or this development will be in such a way that it will satisfy the needs of the present generation considering the needs of the future generation as well that means we are not here to have everything for our own purpose and consumption but we also have to care for our future generation that is going to come after we are uh, we left so that is why this sustainable development concept has been implemented in our economy and many of the countries are following this now talking about this sustainable development it requires a lot of other technological improvement because you cannot uh, reduce your pollution level or the emission level of a country of a industry if you do not have the modern technologies so in order to have this sustainable development you need to be not poor why i am writing not poor because uh, there is no such bar on the basis of which we can uh, discuss it that how much the level of the gdp needs to be there or the income needs to be there for sustainable development to happen but we can say that the country needs not to be very much poor that it cannot afford to buy any of the technologies that is available so this sustainable development again calls for a cost so see there is always a link up between everything in the economy and ecosystem that we have around us so it is not that ecosystem is completely a different entity from economy no they are completely interrelated with each other and the interrelation between them is that they are inversely related to each other if one goes up the other goes down and uh, finally we have also noticed that how this sustainable development is coming into our discussion and in the economy which we are finding around so on this note i'm finishing off this session i hope this video was quite helpful to you and if you find it useful please uh, let us know below in the comment section and for more such interesting updates related to economics 
Please stay tuned with Economics Thank you.